Santa Ana winds have fueled some of the most destructive wildfires in California's history. But why do they form and what makes them so dangerous? ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on the science behind this signature weather pattern. The Cedar Fire in 2003, the Witch Creek Fire in 2007, the Lilac Fire in 2017. They all had something in common, unusually strong Santa Ana winds, some with gusts reaching hurricane force. Typically during the day, San Diego's winds blow from the ocean to the shore, so-called onshore winds that tend to carry a lot of water vapor. But Santa Ana winds blow the opposite direction from the east to the west, and you can see that in the smoke. Strong winds blowing from the deserts towards the coast. They are typically very dry and we usually end up with warmer conditions. Winds flow from high pressure to low pressure, and Santa Ana's typically form when there's high pressure over the Great Basin area of Nevada and Utah and low pressure in Southern California. So these winds are coming from the desert, but that's not why they're hot. They're hot for the same reason that air coming out of a bicycle pump is hot because that air is being compressed. As the winds flow west, they travel over mountains. At high elevations, the air is very cool, but as the winds move down slope, the air gets compressed, driving the temperature up rapidly in what's called the adiabatic process. This process also dries out the air, and dry air heats up especially fast, reaching up to 100 degrees. Mountain ridges and canyons act like a funnel, speeding up the wind. National Weather Service meteorologist Philip Gonzalez says the final reason these winds are dangerous has to do with timing. They typically occur in the fall, which is that time of the year when the fuel moistures are very low. And so the fuels are primed for ignition. He says this Santa Ana event is a little earlier than normal because of the positioning of highs and lows in the northern hemisphere. But the end result is the same. Strong, dry, warm winds and extreme fire danger. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News.